evening friends welcome you all i am sundar from symphonia wealth our budget for 2022 23 has been presented so today we are going to see what all came in the budget before getting into the budget highlights the overall feedback has been the budget has been very impactful it's been growth oriented and on top of it markets gave a good thumbs up in terms of the markets actually going up comes to budget as individuals many of us are keenly looking at a number which is on the personal tax and most of you will be aware by now that there has been no change in the personal income tax so many of us would have expected some kind of a rebate or some kind of a tax relief or things like that but it's been broadly maintained as status quo but the good news is there has not been too much of tweaking here and there so that there has been certainty in the policy so that's the good news but apart from that there has been one interesting announcement on the budget which can affect you and me provided you've been investing in the digital currency or the digital products which have been new entrant in the markets it's going to be taxed at 30% so there has been a clear uh, guidelines which has been given so if you've been investing in cryptos and other kind of uh, digital assets you're going to be taxed at 30% rest all remains the same We all know that we've been going through a pandemic kind of a period for the last two years, and how difficult is it for the individuals, companies, and even for the governments to actually keep up the economy running and going. And this is not the first kind of crisis which an economy goes through. So I've shown you a very in interesting chart which explains what are the recent crises the economy has gone through, and how is it India at the current crisis position. So the good news is we are definitely much better than the earlier crisis. So that's the good news for all of us being citizens. So if you look at the inflation numbers, the average number is only about 5.2 percent for this crisis, whereas the previous crisis we've been almost close to double digit. On the forex reserve numbers, we used to be at about 200 250 billion dollars during the previous crisis, but today we are sitting at a very comfortable position of about almost 650 billion dollars. Even on the fiscal deficit side, it's not been a major drag. We've been broadly within the limits. also the total fdi numbers have actually steadily increased in the last couple of years and compared to the previous financial crisis like the 2008 and the 2012 13 the fdi inflows have actually gone up to about 48 billion dollars so the point here is we are definitely positioned better at a economy level of course lot lot of things needs to be uh, done so why is this budget being given so much of uh, uh, credit people are commenting saying that the industry bodies are welcoming it they are saying that's uh, one of the best budgets growth oriented etc etc so let's give a little backdrop why the industry is actually welcoming the overall budget if you look at for a economy to actually evolve and keep growing the most important thing is somebody has to spend and there are major three players who can spend in the economy which can keep the economy rolling one is of course the government the second is the private sector and the third is the individuals like you and me by way of consumption so we all know that because of the pandemic the private sector has actually got impacted and because of that even the individuals like you and me have got impacted broadly in some of the sectors where people have lost jobs and things like that so in this kind of a situation even government has gone through a terrible uh, situation but they are the only ones who can actually do the heavy lifting of actually increasing the spending and also more importantly spending in the right places what i mean by that is the spending should happen in such a way that it creates some kind of an asset and in turn the asset remains with us for a long period of time and keeps generating regular growth prospects so the most important part of the budget is the capital expenditure has actually gone up to 7 lakh 50000 crores the overall estimates were actually just about 7 lakh odd crores but actually the government went more bravely in terms of spending more on the infrastructure side and from a 5 lakh 50000 crores they have almost increased it by about 2 lakh crores and the chart clearly shows that they have been clearly investing on the infrastructure side so that it creates a lot of employment and also it becomes a capital formation for the country so where are these money going to be invested in so these are going to be definitely invested in the roads so the national highway authority has been given a target of about laying about 25000 kilometers of highways majority is going to go into the railway defense uh, metro 
ports etc etc which means we are creating a much more robust infrastructure so that the economy can actually keep growing at a very healthy pace some key important numbers we as citizens should be knowing is the overall expenditure for the year is about almost about 39 odd lakh crores almost like 40 lakh crores that's the overall expenditure for the country out of which about 22 lakh crores is about 22 23 lakh crores is about uh, the revenue the remaining is the deficit which is going to be created and that's going to be funded the good news is the current gdp is likely to grow at about 9.2 percent and even the following year which is the upcoming financial year the likely estimate is that the gdp will grow at about eight to eight and a half percent which means we will be actually coming out of this huge pandemic in a much more uh, strong way the overall fiscal deficit for the next year has been pegged at about 6.4 percent which is uh, a likely doable because we can't be uh, continuously borrowing somewhere we should have some kind of financial prudence but the financial prudence is going to be very calibrated so that we actually end up meeting the target of 4.5 percent of uh, fiscal deficit by the year 2025 so which means we are steadily progressing we are not uh, uh, taking our eyes out of our growth and uh, prosperity so the government is doing every bit to make sure that the economy revives and continues to grow in a very good healthy way the other important announcement is launching of a digital currency by rbi which can actually give a lot of credibility to the indian uh, currency and the economy and we will be using the best of the technology so that we are not left behind with any developed country another important thing on the digital side is there is a lot of uh, uh, th there is about 75 digital banking units are going to be set up whereby especially in the rural area so that the people will get access to do digital banking it could be payments etc etc to the digital uh, network and to build that infrastructure the government has been steadily investing on the Bharat net project whereby laying optical fibers connecting the entire rural India that is progressing very well and it is also likely to complete in the next financial year another uh, interesting news which will be uh, useful for all of us is the budget has given a go ahead for launching the 5g auctions which means sooner in the next one or two years the auctions will be completed and maybe from 4g we all will slowly definitely migrate to a 5g network another interesting uh, development which has happened is linking the postal network so we all know that postal services is available almost in every nook and corner of this country and today we were almost digitally connected most of the post offices and postal services have already started doing banking services but the only issue was the postal banking services was not talking to the core banking services now even this 1.5 lakh network of post office bank is also going to be linked with the core banking services which means if somebody has a postal bank it is as good as any other bank so that they can actually do the uh, transfers and uh, any kind of banking services even if you hold a postal bank account so which will actually bring in lot of people especially in the rural area rural area to use the banking services and actually move towards the digital india overall it's been a very uh, good budget because the government which needs to lead us from the front has actually given a great signal of actually spending a lot of money especially on creating the infrastructure site which in turn will create a lot of employment and it will also create a lot of multiplier effects on different industries so which can actually take us to to a stage where we can actually grow at a very sustainable pace for a very long period of time so after the budget was announced uh, rakesh junjunwala was on uh, television and he actually used a, a phrase saying that he is one of the most luckiest investor to be part of this journey and he really appreciated the efforts by the government in terms of building the overall budget and the budget can actually take india a long way and the only message he gave was believe in india and invest in india thank you so much hope you enjoyed the content of this video please do subscribe to our youtube channel symphonia chennai
and please press the bell notification icon thank you for watching